Russian company TMH in a joint venture with RVNL is producing and in fact is going to produce Vande Bharat sleeper coaches. We are expecting the first train set by next year and today I am joined by the chief designer uh, in fact to talk more on the sort of design uh, that we have and the sort of new features uh, that we are going to have. So today uh, you have launched uh, the uh, you know mock design in fact the first class AC, if you can talk to us about the kind of features uh, that we are going to see and how it is going to be uh, a different train this time. Of course, the, for us, it was goal to create a new type of comfort. And for that, we did a lot of research to understand what the Indian customer needs, literally with every step, with every second uh, while the journey going. In this case, uh, we try to, let's say, to provide visual if physical comfort by dimension. We did a lot of features what make your journey more comfortable, like a folding bottle holders, a personal lighting system, personal USB charger, etc., uh, etc. Et that means we did the, the same level of comfort for every passenger, doesn't matter which class they choose. Uh, Yevgeny, if you can you know, talk to us about the sort of uh, you know, toilets or the sort of washrooms that have been introduced because this is one bone of, bone of contention. As far as Indian passengers are concerned, so there is a lot of difference, uh, you know, uh, the sort of practices that we have seen in, in Indian railways and the sort of, uh, uh, you know, habits that they have. If you can talk to us about the sort of uh, toilet uh, design or the sort of washrooms uh, that are going to be there in Vande Bharat Sleeper. Uh, thanks for our Indian partners, Indian engineers. They help also personally to me to understand, let's say, size of this problem. But what I have to say, it doesn't matter what uh, type of design you're doing. For first class cars or toilet, you have to think about every passenger. Mommy with kids, all these people, people who have some kind of limited possibilities. In this case, this is answer. How looks uh, the new toilet? This toilet will be highly comfortable for anyone. Okay. By size, by features, by special uh, grabbing situation with uh, access to the water, etc. But we will show it a little bit later in our next concept for all train. Uh, you know, many experts compare uh, the sort of uh, railways network we have in Russia and in India. And two huge differences are, first one, of course, uh, railways here in India is a broad network. Uh, yeah, in Russia also, you have got a huge line network. But then in comparison, we have got a lot of uh, rail passengers here, a lot of crowd, uh, you know, traveling from one place to another on a daily basis. Was there any survey conducted before, uh, you know, basically working on uh, the sort of design that you are going to introduce? Well, first of all, uh, personally, I have a lot of experience with uh, travel in India, and uh, I tried to translate it to the, my team. Basically, I think the point, it's not about how many people uh, traveled uh, during the hour or train. I think pro uh, the point is what the people feeling while this journey because it doesn't matter India, China or Russia, the people want to have a comfortable journey. Uh, maybe they're working with family, maybe they're traveling to their work. It doesn't matter what some people, they don't need some features of their comfort. And this is role of design also to provide simultaneous level of the comfort for all of the people. In India, I think it's really important feeling of the people because it's depend on the, how the people uh, make the journey at the end. They will be more joyful, maybe they may be well satisfied, maybe they will invite next time family to travel. I think design, it's really nice tool to provide, to show what the train, it's not just like a time to travel, it's more than just a travel. Also about, uh, you know, Pentry, uh, I want to ask this specific question. Uh, if you have, uh, you know, a dedicated coach for Pentry or uh, you have some sort of arrangement uh, in every coach, what are uh, going to be, uh, you know, the practices this time around? Because initially uh, there were some sort of uh, dispute as, uh, as well because there were some sort of uh, specific demands. If you can talk to us about uh, the sort of features that have been introduced as far as, uh, you know, Pentry thing is concerned. 
it depends of the uh, of the contract what we're doing as i remember of course we i not remember exactly how many uh, by composition we have the toilet areas but i remember we have uh, two type of toilets of course european uh, small one and the bigger one and of course we have a special toilet for disabled people to provide them uh, the same level of the comfort free type of toilets Yevgeny, I'm asking about the pantry, the uh, the pantry. food things, uh, the sort of canteen arrangement that were initially planned, uh, where you know people can come and buy coffee, buy tea, or or uh, things alike. So, do we have any sort of pantry arrangements as such? It's not part of our project now because we are designing now more or less uh, areas for passenger. I think we have to address this question to the Indian railways. What the future scenarios of the service they are planning to involve to the next services? And by when, I, I know you will of course uh, direct me to the Indian railways once again, but by when we can expect uh, the first train set, if I may ask? I will ask uh, my managers because we we always trying to improve our product. Yeah. We are always uh, trying to reach the highest and highest level of the quality. In this case, dates uh, always depend on the how we are fast in production. All right. Thank you so much Thank for talking to us. Uh, as far as uh, TMH is concerned, so uh, it has in fact been involved in uh, this project uh, that is a JV uh, with uh, RVNL. The name is Kinet, and today they have in fact introduced the mock design where uh, we have seen the first class AC coach uh, from uh, uh, Kinet and very soon in fact we have been given to understand by 2026 uh, we are going to see the first one day Bharat sleeper train from Kinet. We already know that how Another company, another Indian company is already working on it. First train is already out and in fact uh, in October month itself we are expecting the rollout for commercial run for passengers. But it will be interesting to see as to how things will pan out from now onwards given the fact that there are two different farms working on the same project and that is One Day Bharat Sleeper. One Day Bharat Sleeper is going to be a train of next generation. Indian Railways has already launched the first train in fact, very soon we are going to see the commercial run. But in this particular project, Railways has also introduced competition. And we have two different companies working on the project. Of course, first one has already rolled out its train. But the second one is Kinet. That is a joint venture of Russian TMH and also RVNL of India. Today, I am standing in this particular mock design that is by Kinet. And in fact, this is their first class AC coach. If I can show you the visuals, this is the sort of design uh, that we are going to have. Of course, they have not launched uh, their One Day Bharat Sleeper version, but it is expected in 2026. Today, we have the project director and also the CEO of the company to talk more on the sort of design that we, go, we are going to have uh, for One Day Bharat Sleeper. First question to, of course, uh, the project director Nishunk Gargji, uh, who who is in fact sitting with us and in fact this is going to be the first coach better cushioning and of course a lot many features for the indian passengers uh nishunk if you can tell us uh, as to how it is going to be a different coach or a different train altogether i always say one thing uh, the moment we design uh, and the moment these trains are going to be rolled out the one thing which has been taken care of is the comfort uh, the comfort is the most prominent thing which uh, we have taken care of for the our passengers uh, how the elderly people can go up to the upper berths. Generally, there is always a discomfort for, for us being an Indian. We know yeah. that we try to avoid, and the moment we book the tickets, we always try to uh, select the lower berth. Mm -hmm. But now that fear is going to be changed, and this discomfort is going to be converted into the comfort, mm -hmm. that the people would be fearlessly and happily book the upper berth train, upper berth tickets. As you can see, the, the design of the ladders, which is uh, very comfortable. And this is going to be the one which is going to be a USP of our project. Mm -hmm. Also, as far as uh, this project is concerned, so, you know, this is first class coach. Uh, you know, a uh, specific class of passengers are going to come in first class coach. Uh, we have, uh, you know, a lot of uh, people who generally prefer, uh, you know, general coaches in India. You know, they want to go for second class coaches because of uh, uh, the economic uh, viability and also uh, because their pocket is allowing only second class or third class uh, travel. Uh, if you can talk to us about the features, if uh, these features are going to be same uh, in uh, those coaches as well and if uh, we are going to see any sort of changes. So this is a design philosophy and the design concept what we are uh, unveiling it today. The similar kind of uh, uh, design would be there in the second class and the third class as well. As you rightly said, 
that this is a one class of people, those who are uh, affordable and uh, they can travel in the first AC. But there are many, many people, those who are traveling in the second and third AC as well. The comfort is equally uh, taken care of there as well. Obviously, the design of ladders and the design of uh, ergonomics of the berths is slightly different, but the comfort has been taken care of for those people as well. So there is no discrimination between the first, second and third. Obviously, the comfort level is slightly more the way uh, the, because there's a, a two berths. The third AC is having a third berth, but the design, it has been designed in such a way that the comfort would be equally for those kind of people as well. Uh, we have got the CEO as well, Alexandra. If you can, you know, talk to us about your experience. You are staying in Delhi. I got to know. Uh, if you can, uh, you know, talk to us about your experience uh, working on this project one, and secondly, uh, you know, if you can talk to us about the changes that you have noticed uh, in the uh, sort of uh, passengers, uh, passenger behavior, all the sort of uh, you know demand that is coming. Because uh, you see, when we talk about Indian passengers, so there are a lot of changes in the behavior. There, there are going to be a lot of passengers who are uh, going to come and travel in these trains. So how is your experience? What are the kind of things that you are uh, taking care of? So speaking about that, I would say that so the main thing is that uh, we are doing product people for people. So those who are doing this and creating this uh, product, they understand the needs, they understand what should be improved. They travel a lot, they experience a lot. So that uh, we, uh, everyone is contributing to the uh, improvement of the, um, of the uh, train. So to make it uh, the most comfortable way for the people to have their journey and uh, not not to uh, have uh, the fear, uh, as it was said, to uh, buy any kind of uh, ticket to this train. Uh, how is the work going? We have been told the Latour factory is the place where you have been working on the coaches. If you can talk to us about uh, that facility and also the first rollout, uh, when we can expect the first train uh, from Kinet. So facility is perfect, I would say. So it's uh, it's prepared to start manufacturing, and so that the first demo car uh, is uh, already there. Uh, so we are, we are going to uh, deliver the first train uh, within next year. So that um, everything is in line with the contract that we have with the customer. All right. Uh, also, one important part uh, of the TMH, I visited Russia, I visited several uh, facilities of uh, TMH. Uh, one uh, unique, uh, you know, uh, feature, I should say, of the sort of contract that you go with uh, the customers all around the globe is the maintenance part, that you are maintaining those trains uh, for years. Uh, in this particular contract, if I'm not wrong, 35 years is the time uh, you are going to maintain. Any sort of figure that you can give us, all the sort of facilities that you are going to introduce here, uh, you know, for the maintenance part once the, the uh, trains are out? Yes, so we will have three depots uh, in different parts uh, of India. So there, the, the maintenance will be uh, for 120 train sets, so for uh, 19, 20 coach, uh, coaches uh, within 35 years. And uh, this will be done, of course. Uh, what will be the there. location of these depots? Uh, Jodhpur, uh, Tanisandra. Tanisandra and, and Bijvasan. Okay. Sorry, I'm um, not yeah, good not in, pro in pronouncing this. <laughs> <laughs> So we are, you're going to have three facilities where you're going, going to maintain it for next 35 years. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, once again, if I can talk about the design. Yes. Touch up on one point. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, we are here not to design, manufacture and deliver. Mm -hmm. We are committed to Indian market to maintain these trains for next 35 years. So this is the point which I would like this to make is, it. This is what the commitment is. Uh, and, uh, you, you know, if we talk about uh, the comfort, so I'm sitting on this particular, uh, you know, seat and it is comfortable indeed. Uh, because when we talk about Indian railways, so we have seen in the last few years that how several train sets have been introduced. In fact, Vande Bharat coaches, uh, you know, are known for the sort of comfort. But here uh, we have a Kinet that is coming up uh, with the, these train sets. Uh, by 2026, we'll be seeing these trains where we have uh, this particular design that is a uh, first AC mock design uh, you know for the passengers and from 2026 uh, these trains uh, will be seen on track there you have stairs uh, uh, the project director was of course talking about the stairs uh, the kind of fear that the passengers used to have but they will not be having any sort of fear because uh, they have designed all these things uh, keeping the passenger comfort uh, in mind and right now uh, you are seeing these trains uh, where uh, this is the mock design and by 2026 uh, we are going to see these trains on track.